I'm Michael Diamond. This is Muscle Central. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share, subscribe, turn on your notifications, and leave a comment. All right, this past Arnold has answered a few questions and left us with a few more. Now, I personally thought that we had, we might have already seen uh, Hardy at his best before uh, this Arnold. Well, Hardy proved me wrong and he really shut me up. Uh, this was probably his best package to date. Uh, he definitely established the fact that he is still here, he is still dangerous, and uh, most likely, well, you have to consider him the biggest threat to Derek Lunsford right now. A lot of people felt that Heidi should have won in 23. Uh, in Hani and Rabad's own words, he didn't hesitate. Uh, when he was asked the question, would this Hadi have beaten the 23 Olympia uh, Derek without hesitation, Hani said yes. And get back to Hari in a moment. Now, going into this, everybody expected a two-man show between Hari and Samson. And that's the way it pretty much went down. But looking at it, it could have been a three-man show. You know, there was a, there was a much closer distance between... Uh, a much closer distance between Rafael Brandau and Samson than it was Samson to uh, Hardy. Going into the show, many people uh, gave Samson a good chance of beating Hardy. After all, it's pretty much... Uh, Believe by most that uh, prime Samson, Samson who really nails condi condi who really nails the conditioning, could be almost impossible uh, to beat. And we've seen constant improvements with Samson, show to show over the last two, two and a half years, and there's no reason to think any different uh, now. Well, Samson did not make a bad showing by any means, but uh, I think he, at least he changed my opinion on his possibilities this year of winning the Olympia. I mean, nothing is out of the question. I And I still believe he has Olympia, Mr. Olympia written on his physique. But going by what we just saw, I don't... I, to reach the level of... He doesn't have to uh, match a Heidi conditioning but he needs to reach a certain level of conditioning. And right now, the way he's been going, I don't think uh, it's going to happen this year. Now he has the situation where he's been with Milos uh, Sarchev two, uh, two and a half years with much success, and now there's whatever's going on between the two of them. We really don't know, but... They are no longer a team. I'm sure that is going to have an effect. So that changes uh, my perspective. I think other people are starting to echo the same thoughts, ch changing their perspective on the way Samson is going to go this year. It's 
So back to Hadi again. As I said, you have to make Hadi the biggest threat to Derek, considering the fact that it was a close uh, contest in 23, and you can make a good argument, and a lot of people have for Hardy. What we've seen uh, this past weekend at the Auto Classic, that wasn't just a little bit ahead of uh, the the Olympia Derek, that was a lot ahead of. So looking at that way, Derek would have a lot of uh, ground to make up. I just don't think even an improved uh, Derek, if Heidi comes in like he came in at the Sonnold, or better, I just don't think uh, Derek has the firepower to uh, take him out. Uh, you might uh, think otherwise, that's my opinion on it. Does somebody have the firepower to take him out? Well, I get a better assessment of it, it, I think it's in April, uh, coming up in a couple, at the end of May or beginning of April, the New York Pro when we see Nick Walker. After all, going by what we saw Nick Walker just days before the Olympia, most, well, many people felt he would have been Mr. Olympia this year. Uh, in Nick Walker's case, uh, he he's never he has, he doesn't have Hardy conditioning, but after Hardy, I don't think anybody brings the kind of conditioning and consistently the way Nick Walker does, and. He has this freak factor. Yeah, his structure's not the greatest. When he first turned pro, he actually looked blocky. But he's done pretty much what Jay Cutler did. Jay Cutler had a blocky structure. The way he developed, put muscle on, you don't see... Uh, what's there? It's it. It takes away from it. It, it, uh, it creates the illusion that he's not blocky, and he's done a very good job with that. The freak factor with the crazy amount of muscle he carries for his height, and the fact that he always brings in really good conditioning, really good consistently. That's not a question. He would probably be the most likely candidate to push Hardy and give him a run for his money. But uh, right now, the way I'm seeing it, I'm doing a total 180, where I thought Hardy might have seen his best days already. I don't think that anymore, and somebody's going to have to bring something really special. You're not going to match his conditioning, that's for sure. I guarantee you that. But you're going to need to bring in a certain level of conditioning to even have a chance of battling with him. And then you're going to have to, on top of that, bring some other special attributes to the stage. Okay, if you agree or disagree with what I've said, let me know in the comment section. This is Michael Diamond. I'd like to thank you for watching Muscle Central.